Hello, I'm Bella Rulon and welcome to EVTV. Producing EVTV remotely has been a challenge, but we're back with more stories about what is going on here in the Eagle Valley community. Many Eagle Valley students have been balancing their e-learning with being an essential worker during the quarantine. To learn more about their experience, we go to Kim. As Eagle Valley students are under quarantine, there is still a majority of students that still need to go to work. Along with going to work, they still need to manage schoolwork. It's been pretty easy to manage it because I tend to do schoolwork in the mornings. And then I'm a part-time worker, so then I work in the afternoons most of the time. Um, but then I take weekends off of school and just like get that over with. So basically, I try to work in the mornings. Like mostly I work eight hour, eight hour shifts like during the day and I try to work like early as possible and then like try to do my homework like later at night. And then, yeah, it usually takes like, I guess like four hours a day. I think that's like the best like baseline where you should take. It's been kind of hard lately because like there's so much going on in school, you know, and like I have so little time to do. On my days off. Um, I do, I do my homework, I do my missing assignments, um, or after work, before work. Having a job during this pandemic can be stressful as well have an impact on their school performance. At first it did. Um, I fell behind at school. And then um, throughout time, like I've been catching up. I think uh, it is affecting it a little bit. Um, I have uh, fallen behind in some cases, uh, but usually if I uh, take the time and um, focus on my schoolwork on those days off, I do uh, catch up to it. Because it limits like your time and like, depends on like how many hours you really work. Like for example, like for me, like I'm a full-time employee now and like, it's like really, it, it like really limits my time into like having to do all my work and like, having to turn my stuff in on time, like, it's pretty hard. Along with taking precautions for themselves, their workplace has mandatory precautions they must follow as well. Some store precautions that we've taken is that uh, we're required to wear masks and uh, they'll usually provide the gloves. And then um, at every register, we usually have a uh, hand sanitizer if we ever want to use that. And then uh, water fountains have been off limits. We're not allowed to use them. We always have to wear gloves, like when, while we're doing cards, while we're like bagging and stuff. And then we also can't like bag like other people's like personal bags that they bring in, like the reusable bags. So every every day like that I work or as soon as I clock in, I go to my manager and he checks my temperature and they give me a mask. And then I obviously go wash my hands before I start my my job. And um, we tend to use hand sanitizer after touching money, especially money, or like after an order or doing everything, just using hand sanitizer or washing your hands all the time. But wearing a mask is like a bigger one too. We have to keep a six feet social distance um, as much as we could as possibly. With going to work every day, they not only risk their own health, but as well as their family's health. Um, I usually don't uh, feel scared. I mostly feel scared for other people that work with us because uh, I feel like pretty secure that if, if even if I do get it, I won't get as sick as some of our other coworkers that are uh, more elderly and uh, are more uh, vulnerable to it. At first, yes, I felt pretty scared. I was like, oh my gosh, like, what is this? Like, it was something new, you know, like nothing we've never actually had before. Um, but I went and managed to keep calm and I was just very precautious about it. And like, I think it's like very scary, like coming back home and like maybe like contaminating your family, like your mom and your dad and your like siblings and everything. I think that's like very scary. I stopped working for a few weeks because my dad's at high risk, so I didn't want to put him in danger. So then that was how I took precaution for it. But now, like, I'm just taking more precautions of it and, like, doing everything I can to keep myself and my family safe. 
As our essential workers are taking many precautions to keep us safe, it is only fair that we do our part to keep them safe. I feel like that all my city market workers have like been working their like butts off, like trying to like work. Wearing a mask, it's optional, but I'm pretty sure like I feel like you should take that precaution for yourself and for others to wear a mask and staying away, staying six feet away from each other. So we have a uh, um, one way aisles and uh, usually um, it's one way so that people can go in and out through that aisle so that uh, people aren't uh, crossing through each other and um, they aren't having close contact. Go to the store if it's necessary. Like don't go to the store if you're just gonna buy a bag of Cheetos and a Pepsi. Like go if you need to buy like, oh, groceries for, I don't know, you know, like for, the rest of the week or something like that. With warmer weather, more students are going to the Eagle River Park to enjoy the outdoors and social distance. For more, we go to Otto. Now that warmer weather is here, the conditions have changed and more people have appeared at the wave. Back in the middle of the summer last year and started hitting it. My brother had a wetsuit for me to wear. So like, this is my like first real season on the wave. The Eagle River Park is a place where students surf, kayak, and paddleboard. but it is also a place where they can feel a sense of community at a time when we've been otherwise feeling isolated. You know, I would say it's been a pretty positive experience. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun there, it's a good community. There's always someone who like brings a big speaker and you always have like music there, playing, playing surfing tunes, you know, and nobody's really like critical of each other, there's no, there's no fighting. I mean, there's like younger teenagers and then there's older adults who like who like to surf and then there's ocean surfers and river surfers and it all just kind of like molds together, you know? Kind of just meshes together in a great big, uh, great big way of a uh, river park, you know? I feel like it brings the community together and like there's a bunch of people out today, so it's kind of nice. And then it's just like another little nice park an eagle that you can chill at, eat your lunch, bring your dog to. It's important to have something like a strong sense of community and a good physical and mental condition when times are rather strange during quarantine, and the Eagle River Park does just that. Thank you. This has been Otto Berga with EVTV. That's all we have for you on this episode of EVTV. Please stay safe and socially distance and be there for each other during this challenging time. This has been Bella Rulon for EVTV.